This is question 3 from paper 1 of the SQA New Higher Specimen paper. We've got a diagram where we know the coordinates of this point P and we're told various pieces of information about P, Q, Q, R and Q, R to S, various journeys between these points. And the ultimate aim is to find the coordinates of point S. So let's start off with what we do know. We do know that the point P is negative 6, 3, 9. So we're up here and we know the coordinates of this point. Now, looking at all this, we do know how to get from P to Q. From P to Q, we travel 6 parallel to the x-axis, 12 parallel to the y-axis, and minus 6 units back along parallel to the z-axis. We normally put this in component form, 6, 12, negative 6. So this here, 6, 12, negative 6, travelling from P to Q. So that would imply that the point Q, if we've travelled 6 units parallel to the x-axis, we've added 6 to negative 6 to get 0. If we were at 3 on the y-axis and we've travelled a further 12 units along the, the y-axis, we've reached 15. And if we were at 9 units along the z-axis and we go down 6, we're up at a height of 3. So Q we've reached and we've now got the point 0, 15, 3. So that type of strategy, knowing where we are, what we've got to do to get to the next point, we'll try and continue that in travelling from Q to R. Now what we do know about Q to R is that twice Q to R is equal to from P to Q. So what we do in going from Q to R would basically be one half of what we've done in travelling from P to Q. P to Q is twice Q to R, so QR will be one half of P to Q, taking a half of both sides if you like. So we look at what we did to get from P to Q. It was 6, 12, minus 6. These were the components. So a half of that would be 3, 6, negative 3. So there's the instructions for getting further along this line from Q to R. So that implies that the point R, and for now at Q, where X is 0, and we've done 3 along the X axis, we're ending up at 3. If we're at 15 on the Y axis, and we do another 6 units along the Y axis, we're ending up at 21. And 3 along the Z axis, and we're now going down another 3 units on the Z axis, we'll end up at a height of 0. So R is the point 3, 21, 0. So we're almost there, the destination's in sight. Just remains to work out what we have to do in travelling from R to S. There's the clue. Three times the journey from R to S will be the same as what we did going from P to Q. In other words, travelling from R to S is one third of the journey from P to Q. So whatever we did in going from P to Q, we must do a third of that. So R, S will be one third of 6, 12, negative 6. So that'll be 2, 4, negative 2. So there's the instructions going from R to S. So that would imply that S is the point, well, we were at 3 on the X, we've gone another 2, we're going to be at 5. We're 21 units along the Y axis, with another 4 units to go, that's 25. We're at a height of 0. We go now down a further 2 units. We're at minus 2. So there is where we've reached. We've reached the point 5, 25, minus 2.